No matter how harsh an environment may be, here on Earth, life seems to find a way. Even in an environment designed to trick organisms to be trapped in its goo for all eternity, life still found a way. You see, recently I made a video regarding supposed complex organisms that could be living in possible oil deposits, and although the oil pit squids may or may not be real, people in the comments were quick to bring up one organism that not only lives in oil, but requires it to live. Today, we are going to take a look at the miracle of the La Brea Petroleum Flies. Before looking into the flies and their life cycles, it's important to highlight how harsh the La Brea Tar Pits of Los Angeles are. The La Brea Tar Pits are natural deposits of a natural asphalt, often referred to as tar or pitch, that is formed from crude oil that seeps up into the surface due to tectonic movements where the gases from the, well, gas, seem to leak into the air, leaving behind a thick tar pool. And for 50-some thousand years that these tar pits have existed, they have trapped several plants and animals within its dark ooze. The tar pits are often referred to as predator traps, as animals would unknowingly wander into the pits due to them being covered with leaves, dust, or water, with a poor animal being trapped in the pits, never to escape alive. And with the whole water thing, it's like they kind of look like pools of water regardless. But since water doesn't mix with oil, the water just kind of sits on top. So like if you're like a an animal, you might think, oh, this is some water. And you take a sip and your mouth is trapped and you're done, buddy. And once a large animal like, say, a bison or a mammoth gets trapped in, Predators, knowing none the wiser, would become trapped in pursuit of an easy meal. And these pits of black sludge are a gold mine for paleontologists, because tons of extinct and extant animals have been found in these pits, including bison, coyotes, gray and dire wolves, American cheetahs, giant beavers, passenger pigeons, frogs, turtles, American lions, mammoths, mastodons, saber-toothed cats, ground sloths, Camelids, extinct horses, short-faced bears, and countless other animal remains, along with the remains of a 10,000-year-old woman between the ages of 17 and 25. The images I have there, I think it's like shows 25 to 30. That's a bit dated. But anyways, due to the pit's quality of preserving countless fossils, they have been listed as a geological heritage site in 2022. Nowadays, the tar pits are pretty well closed off so that animals and, let's be honest, people don't wander in. However, that doesn't stop everything from wandering into the pits. Nowadays, mammoths and saber-toothed cats aren't plunging themselves into tar pits. However, small animals like birds and rats and insects still will get trapped in the pits with no return. And where next to nothing would be expected to live, Life found a way to survive and thrive in these deposits in the form of the petroleum fly. Petroleum flies are some of the most complex creatures known to live in the tar and oil seeps, with some bacteria and nematodes and a few worms being known to live in these deposits as well, but this isn't their video now, is it? Their life starts as maggots that hatch from eggs that are laid in water pools that are, you know, water that forms in the oil pit, who are able to move across the surface of the tar pit and can even submerge themselves into the oil by creating a layer of water around them from spindles on their back. And like other resilient fly species, these bugs are highly adapted to surviving in low oxygen environments that are dispelling toxic gases and can even reach temperatures of 100 degrees Fahrenheit that would kill just about any other organism. These maggots will wiggle their way across the tar pits, eating not only anything that falls into the pit, but some of the oil itself being immune to its destructive effects. In fact, these maggots actually need to consume the oil and able to avoid drying out. So in a weird way, they literally turn this like toxic substance into like a required thing that they need to eat. 
After a few weeks, the larva will climb to more solid ground and enter their pupil stage for a brief period until they emerge as fully developed flies. These flies will continue to thrive in the oil pits and will rarely wander away from them. However, their resilience to the oil is limited to the bottoms of their feet, as if any other part of their body makes contact with the pitch, they are cooked, they are stuck just like anything else to fall into there. In fact, other petroleum maggots won't even wait until the fly is cold to start slurping out their insides. During the fly's few weeks left of life, it will waste no time to get busy with a mate and start making maggots, completing their life cycle and falling into the pit where maggots will make use of their bodies for fly fuel. These flies are mostly found in tar pits around California and in other oil seeps around the world and were first discovered by petroleum workers who noticed them thriving in oil and eating bugs that fell in and it had to have been really strange and gross to find these things kind of just swimming around oil pools and stuff. Like, what? The, ugh, I don't get paid enough for this man, what the hell? These flies really are a miracle of biology. It seems that out of defiance, these flies have evolved to live and thrive in an environment that kills just about anything that falls into it. These flies have managed to seize an opportunity to establish a niche that feels like it couldn't happen in a million years, let alone 50,000. Life always seems to find a way, and the petroleum flies are a great example of that. And even though there aren't squids swimming around in these oil deposits, at least that we know of, I do know a fly that managed to make these tar pits home. Sucks for anything to fall into the pit, though. And that's going to do it for this video. Uh, this was a very interesting topic, thanks to everybody who made note of the, the oil flies. I, I don't think I really came... Well, when looking up the, the oil pit squids, I found that there were some like small form organisms that lived in the oil. I didn't know about the maggots, so... I decided, to, and, and someone in the comments who brought up the oil pit flies was like, eh, maybe you should maybe you should uh, make that into a video. I'm like, you know what, that's a very smart idea. And I figured this would make a pretty good free case special, you know, a good little standalone video. Uh, let me know if you want me to cover other, like, really wacky, weird animals, like, uh, especially ones that live in harsh conditions, like um, brine flies or, like, certain creatures that live in brine pools at the bottom of the ocean or whatever because i found this pretty interesting this was a very unique organism and i wouldn't mind covering other unique animals alongside cryptids and the stuff of that nature but anyways thank you all for watching if you like the video leave a like make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell and with that i'm out bye